The Winton Motor Carriage Company was a pioneer United States automobile manufacturer based in Cleveland, Ohio. Winton was one of the first American companies to sell a motor car. Topic: History. Topic: 1896. Scottish immigrant Alexander Winton, owner of the Winton Bicycle Company, turned from bicycle production to an experimental single-cylinder automobile before starting his car company. Winton owned a large lakeshore estate in Lakewood, Ohio. In the mid-1960s the home was demolished and an upscale high-rise condominium was constructed aptly named Winton Place. 1897. The company was incorporated on March 15, 1897. Their first automobiles were built by hand. Each vehicle had fancy painted sides, padded seats, a leather roof, and gas lamps. B. F. Goodrich made the tires for Winton. By this time, Winton had already produced two fully operational prototype automobiles. In May of that year, the 10 horsepower (7.5 kilowatts) model achieved the astonishing speed of 33.64 miles per hour (54.14 kilometers per hour) on a test around a Cleveland horse track. However, the new invention was still subject to much skepticism, so to prove his automobile's durability and usefulness, Alexander Winton had his car undergo an 800-mile endurance run from Cleveland to New York City. 1898 Alexander Winton, in Cleveland, Ohio sold his first manufactured semi-truck in 1899. On March 24, 1898, Robert Allison of Port Carbon, Pennsylvania, became the first person to buy a Winton automobile after seeing the first automobile advertisement in Scientific American. Later that year the Winton Motor Carriage Company sold 21 more vehicles, including one to James Ward Packard, who later founded the Packard Automobile Company after Winton challenged a very dissatisfied Packard to do better. Winton sold 22 cars that year. 1899–1900 In 1899, more than 100 Winton vehicles were sold, making the company the largest manufacturer of gasoline-powered automobiles in the United States. This success led to the opening of the first automobile dealership by Mr. H. W. Kohler in Reading, Pennsylvania. To deliver the vehicles, in 1899, Winton built the first auto hauler in America. One of these 1899 Wintons was purchased by Lars Anderson and his new wife, Isabel Weld Perkins. It is still on display at Lars Anderson Auto Museum in Brookline, Massachusetts. 1901 Publicity generated sales and in 1901 the news that both Reginald Vanderbilt and Alfred Vanderbilt had purchased Winton automobiles boosted the company's image substantially. That same year, Winton lost a race at Gross Point to Henry Ford. Models 1902 Winton vowed to come back and win, producing the 1902 Winton Bullet, which set an unofficial land speed record of 70 miles per hour, 113 kilometers per hour in Cleveland that year. The Bullet was defeated in another Ford by famed driver Barney Oldfield, but two more Bullet race cars were built. 1903 In 1903, Dr. Horatio Nelson Jackson made the first successful automobile drive across the United States. On a $50 bet, he purchased a slightly used two-cylinder, 20-horsepower Winton touring car and hired a mechanic to accompany him. Starting in San Francisco, ending in Manhattan, the trip took 63 days, 12 hours, and 30 minutes, including breakdowns and delays while waiting for parts to arrive, especially in Cleveland. The two men often drove miles out of the way to find a passable road, repeatedly hoisted the Winton up and over rocky terrain and mud holes with a block and tackle, or were pulled out of soft sand by horse teams. Jackson's Winton is now part of the collections at the National Museum of American History. 
The 1904 Winton was a five-passenger tonneau equipped Tora which sold for $2,500. By contrast, the Enja 40 was $2,000, the Val $1,750, and Oakland 40 $1,600, the Cole 30 and Colt run about $1,500, while the 1913 Lozier Light-6 Metropolitan started at $3,250, American's lowest-priced model was $4,250, and Lozier's Big 6 were $5,000 and up. Models 1904 Winton's flat-mounted water-cooled straight twin engine, situated amidships of the car, produced 20 horsepower kilowatts. The channel and angle steel-framed car weighed 2,300 pounds kilograms. Models 1914 Winton continued to successfully market automobiles to upscale consumers through the 1910s, but sales began to fall in the early 1920s. This was due to the very conservative nature of the company, both in terms of technical development and styling. Only one sporting model was offered, the Sport Touring, with the majority of Winton's featuring Tora, sedan, limousine and town car styling. Models 1922. Topic. End of production The Winton Motor Carriage Company ceased automobile production on February 11, 1924. However, Winton continued in the marine and stationary gasoline and diesel engine business, an industry he entered in 1912 with the Winton Engine Company. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Sale to General Motors. Winton Engine Company became the Winton Engine Corporation, a subsidiary of General Motors, on June 20, 1930. It produced the first practical two-stroke diesel engines in the 400 to 1,200 horsepower, 300 to 900 kilowatts range, which powered early Electromotive Corporation, another GM subsidiary, diesel locomotives and U.S. Navy submarines. A Winton eight-cylinder, 600 horsepower, 447 kilowatts, 8201A diesel engine was the motive power of the revolutionary Burlington Zephyr Streamliner passenger train. In 1934, the first American diesel-powered mainline train. Winton provided 201 series engines for rail use until late 1938, when Winton Engine Corporation was reorganized as the General Motors Cleveland Diesel Engine Division, and the GM 567 series locomotive engines were introduced. Cleveland Diesel produced marine, stationary, and locomotive engines until 1941, when locomotive engine production was moved under Electromotive Diesel In 1962 Cleveland Diesel was absorbed by EMD, which is still in business today. <laughs> marine engines Winton and Cleveland engines were used widely by the U.S. Navy in the Second World War, powering submarines, destroyer escorts, and numerous auxiliaries. The Winton engines were systematically replaced with the more reliable Cleveland engines during refittings during the war. In popular culture A purpose-built, Winton Flyer Features prominently in William Faulkner's Pulitzer Prize winning 1962 novel The Reavers. In fact, the 1969 film version of the novel starring Steve McQueen was known as the Yellow Winton Flyer in the UK. A 1962 episode of Dennis the Menace, Horseless Carriage Club, centers around a trip Dennis and his friends are supposed to take in Mr. Wilson's 1912 Winton. See also List of defunct United States automobile manufacturers <laughs>